Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can get all the tables, transaction codes, function modules, programs, parameter ID or whatever you want for a particular process. So first thing I will start with is how will I know the transaction code. We can start with just a transaction code and from there we can drill down further. The first thing I'll go is if I go to SC16G. I can find a prop, find a uh, transaction code for any process ID. So here I am going to SC16G and I click on execute. And suppose I want to say, suppose I want to get something related with purchase order. So I will just say, suppose PURS. So I'm typing. So this purchase. Is order okay. so you need to be a little patient because it tries to find the stuff and here and see purchase order and from here I'll just drill down what is the purchase order so here I know me 23 so the next thing is I go to me 23 and this will open me 23 n and now I'll go to system status and I go to the program and double click on it okay and from here I go to again go to attributes I copy the package this package is very important and I go to another session and I open SE80 okay and here I will just populate this package okay. and here you can see the package and from here if you want to know what are the different transaction codes that are available you can get all these transaction codes okay. so these are all the transaction codes that are available for purchase purchase order related stuff or it can be purchasing ones if you want to find all the programs you can find it from here Another important thing, you can find all the tables from here, the views from here, you name it, you'll get it from here. This is very, very important. And from here, you can see the RFC services. If you want the different BAPIs, if you want to find different function modules, you can get the function groups. And from here, you can just drill down and click on different function modules. Okay. So if you click on this, drill down, you can find all these function modules and all those things. So this is very, very useful. From here also you can get the set get parameters, okay, different parameters ID which may, might be useful for your case. You can find enhancements, authorization objects, area menu which is very useful and uh, and other important stuff that is uh, that you can use, okay. So in this way you can replicate the same thing for other processing yes. so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day